Good evening, I'm Josh Beiser, and tonight we are continuing my Dungeon of the Endless run here on Game Wisdom. So, to recap last time, I really just got hit with a lot of bad luck in terms of dust on the floors, heroes to find, and just not getting any good upgrades for modules. And it's left me in a pretty dangerous spot. I was experimenting with the mechanical PAL my own, excuse me, minor module that's designed to basically operate major modules without the need of heroes. But what I figured was that the full cost and investment to get them to the point where they could basically um, replace a hero was just too much, especially for the limited play of only about 11 floors. Maybe in the game's endless mode or endless run mode it could work. But for a regular campaign, I just don't see the value in it, and I do hope the developers will rebalance that at some point. So, here we are at level floor 6, about halfway done the game with 4 heroes, and as the title of this cast, or to me, title of this video suggests, I'm not having some high hopes for this, but maybe I'll be proven wrong. So, let's find out. Here we go, 3 paths to go, I'm gonna go down. You can see we got a ton of industry, but we really need food in order to upgrade these heroes. So once again, start with some industry to get that going. And for this run, I think we're going to have to, re have to rely on our heroes. Because we just don't have a lot of good modules. I have no real offensive modules other than a smoking gun. Everything else is mainly for defense and hero support. So we just picked up a new piece of armor. Let's see what this does. Ooh, very nice. Gives health regen. That's lovely. I will give that to her. Okay. And who will get it? She can't wear any armor, unfortunately, so we'll give this to her. So. We got some good gear, so this is going to be a very hero-focused run. And again, I don't know if that's going to win this for us or not. Okay, I'm going, since Josh over here has the highest weight, I'm going to send him down here to work on food, while Elise will be working the industry to keep that pumping up. Meanwhile, our two heroes, Sarah's, or Sarah and Jewelry, We'll be going out and being our main offense, hopefully. Mm, small room, not good. These two should be able to handle just about anything that's thrown at them. And just for the hell of it, we'll build a science generator just to get that going. Okay, which way to go? I guess we'll go down. We really need to find a merchant, too. Jewelry is not is a strong offensive here, but not one that I particularly like to use. And the reason is this. Dust thirst. Thirst, sorry about that. What this is that every time she kills a monster, she gets plus eight attack power. But it also lowers the chance that monsters will spawn dust, which means the ability to get more dust and raise the amount of rooms you can light up. Now I really, really need to find a merchant. Okay, another lit room, but still not enough dust to light. Alright, who can I level up? Yeah, let's level 73, 65, 65. I guess we'll level Jewelry up. She gets increased speed and defense, okay, not bad. And we'll be moving forward. Okay, we come to our first dead end. Okay, we got a merchant. Good. And he... Oh. Good news and bad news. The good news is that I can sell items and get dust. The bad news is the only way to buy more stuff is I need to basically give out my hard-earned dust for it. Ugh, not good. 18 dust. That's almost two points of rooms. So what I want to do... Man, this is going to be very painful. Okay. 
what I'm going to have to do is start getting some defenses up. So, hopefully that will help there. I'll send Drollery up here to act as defense for Josh. Okay, we found the first artifact. And... I guess we'll go for science. Because the auto dog shards, I just need one just to get the health regen in case I hit any bosses. But this is not good. I don't have the dust to light up these rooms, so we got one, two, three rooms which will spawn enemies. And now another room. Come on, dust. Still no dust, come on. And this big guy here will attack the artifact. And if I don't kill it, it will basically stop me from researching. So he's dead. She can handle this. There we go. Ugh, man. As I said at the beginning of this cast, I'm not. My hopes are not high for this. Okay. Still no dust. And here they come. Let's see, can we hold them off? Okay, almost. Good. And we got one more point of dust so I can power this up. Now this is a clear room, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my shop here. This will send the merchant all the way over there. And I'm going to send Josh over there so he can start giving us two dust per turn. Or five or every five turns I get a free room to light up. And I think that's going to be very important. Okay. I'm just really worried about this. Please be the exit. Please be the exit. Not the exit. Okay. He's going to be going for the artifact again. Okay. That's done. And. Dead. This is not a good placement here. We got all these rooms that are dark, which means they will be spawning enemies. Okay. I'm going to go for the food replicator. Because again, we need a lot of food because we're going to have to upgrade our heroes. Okay, who can we upgrade next? Who has the lowest? I guess it'll be her. And well, since she is our tank, I might as well keep leveling her up as well. Okay, I'm going to build a few more defenses in this room since Josh is in here. Okay, we got our dust, our shop has given us enough dust to lay up another room. Perfect. Okay, up here they come. Oh, 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 almost. Uh, they blew up the artifact, so I can't heal that. And now he's attacking my science generator. But that can be repaired. I don't know why they won't let you repair the artifacts. It seems like another BS move, I think, on the developer's part. Okay. Again, I have no idea how we're going to handle this. Might as well retreat back here and let the whole group finish them off. Wow, they just... They are killing her. Don't have the food for that. Guess it's time for our emergency. Let's sell this. That'll get us another point. Okay, that direction is now completely clear, so I can move her over here. But again, this is just, we are in a very poor position. Okay, that's poison. No enemy spawning. Okay, there's a science. 
Ugh. That's lit up. I can get a few more defenses here. And let's just try this room over here. Ugh, this means that this whole path is not right. Another dust, we'll light that up. And here they come. Alright, good news is that our heroes are strong enough that they're holding out. And again, we have dust coming in every turn. Okay, no enemies in this room. No enemies. Please, no enemies. Okay, that's good. Oh, a new hero. Port. Uh-oh. Got trouble coming from this end. I think we're gonna hold out. Good. We got some more dust, so I can light this up. Prove Josh's wit anymore? No. All right. So this guy, <coughs> excuse me, is another range heavy character. Not as heavily armed as uh, Elise over here, but all right. But we already have four, so I can't really do much with him. Oh, another big dungeon. This is just not good. Okay, we found another artifact, so we can block that out. Now one good thing about Saris here is I can, she has speed, so I can move her quickly back here to defend. Oh my god, so many guys. I think we got it. Yeah, there we go. We found another artifact, so I can use this for research, as long as it doesn't get destroyed again. Wait, what happened? Oh, they blew up the shop. Okay. Let's get that back up. And... Yeah, we gotta go for the food again. Come on. They're just really laying into us here. I can let him sort of tank. I can actually cheat a little bit and just repeat this and confuse AI. I almost killed that. Did it break the shop again? No. And we are just not in a good position. This is, of course, when we were more will spawn. Definitely want to block that out. But now these guys are going to be able to tear this apart, unfortunately. And again, there's just nothing I can really do about that. She's almost out of health, and we're almost out of food to repair her. Oh, man. Maybe I'll send her here to act as extra defense. Hmm, do I want to build a second food? Nah. Because I'm going to be getting the hell out of here the second this th we find the exit. There's another hero, Golgi. Eh, good uh, melee fire, except she doesn't use any weapons or armor. And there's a yet another artifact. Okay, I can send her down here. Okay, there's the Tesla module. This is the high offense one. This will increase it here. 
Hmm, I wonder if the increased hero attack power is going to be more important here, since we are focusing on our heroes. Okay, oop. Let's block that off, stop another spawn. <coughs> Still haven't found it yet. Come on. Okay. So you can see they're going straight for the artifact. Uh oh. What's going on over here? Wow. How are they killing us now? Ugh. What the hell happened there? Hmm. I think we need to put a little bit more defenses here. There's our shop again. And we'll leave Elise here to defend. And hopefully we can find this damn exit. This has gotta be it. Come on. Finally. I mean, look at this dungeon. This is just a ridiculous one. And again, I the only reason I have enough dust to light this all up was because I had to keep using the shop. If I didn't have it, there's no way I was going to cover all these paths. Alright, I can't stay anymore in this floor. Man, we used up a lot of our food, unfortunately. And we gotta recover that. So, everyone go back here. We almost lost our heroes a few times. What I can do is see there's <coughs> excuse me, any items I can buy because again we are getting off this floor. Yeah, let's go for it. And At this point, it just doesn't really matter in terms of dust, since we found the path. So there we go, everyone's there. We have a bunch of good items on us. She's going to be really slow, but she'll be able to hopefully tank a lot of enemies for us. And Cyrus is incredibly fast. Okay, here we go. Alright, almost there. And good. Another very close call. And that only means that it's only going to get worse for us. Alright, another floor down. Five to go, I believe. And we're going to be coming up on the bosses soon, which is going to be just a killer. Alright, I'm going to assume we're going to have a four floor start. Nope, only two. Well, not horrible. <coughs> okay, we gotta get food going. Food and industry, of course. Alright, so once again, industry first. And then we're going to build some food. Alright. Gave us nothing. Lovely. There's an artifact. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's upgrade the dust fuel generator, get that going. What did we find? Sonic gun. I think this will be for Josh. There we go. And we need to find another room so I can start pumping up my science and food. Dead end, or nothing. There's a dead end. Well, we found the exit, that's good. Ooh, fully level that up. 
or keep increasing our strength. Uh, well, I think we'll have to go for that. Okay. Now, here's the bit of a dilemma. I could stay here a few more turns just to get some more resources, or we just make a break for the escape. Uh, I think we'll risk our luck, because we need more resources. Okay. This should spawn some enemies, or not. We'll work on that. And let's see where we're going. No, 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 no. Let's try to deny spawn. Okay, we got some company coming. Should we better be able to handle these guys? Uh oh, he's gonna explode. And they blew up the science generator, of course. Okay, she'll work on that. And what item did we find? Zone device. Another good armor. Can't use it on her, but this should be good on this one. There we go. And what I'm going to do is build some tear gas. And I will build the dust fuel generator so we have almost half increase in defense. And anything over here? Okay, she should be able to finish them off. These guys are just hitting very hard lately. I don't know why we're not able to survive. I think we're just not leveling up our heroes enough. There we go. Okay, that's being worked on. This one, I still need a few more turns. And you can see again, I just don't have the dust to do anything. Okay, we found the merchant, that's good. That's lit up to deny the spawn. Or maybe better, yeah, we'll place... Nope, there's no major module. I can at least keep him a little bit alive. Okay, good news, he takes... He will sell for food. And I have a bunch of items that I don't need, so I can sell it. Let's see, anyone else have wit? No, he's good. Okay, well, we're gonna go down. Another dead end. And it's time to fight. As you can see, the the, in, the additions of the tear gas and our suppressive generator was really helping keep our heroes alive. Okay. At this point, I think I'm just going to have to, again, go the Hell Mary route. But we'll rush over here. The problem is, as you can see, there's just one, two, three, four, five, six rooms of enemies to spawn on this side. If I try to explore on this end, I'm just going to overwhelm the guys on the left, and I won't have adequate defenses on the right. So again, I'm really stuck between a rock and a hard place. And I think the only thing that I can do is try to rush. But again, that's not good, because it means my heroes aren't going to get enough food to level up. So I'm just getting uh, bad luck on every which way. Okay, <clears throat> so here we go. We sh these heroes should be able to handle anything. And her increased speed is what's going to really help. I mean, look how big this place is. And free. Alright, we're making really good time this play, but that's not good. Because once again, I'm not spending enough time to get the resources that I need. But we are getting closer to the end and closer to more danger. 
The only question is, how soon is the end going to come? From what I've been playing these runs, the shop is definitely a must-buy item. Just to mitigate the chance of getting more dust with the help of a merchant. Alright, what is this dungeon going to be? Come on. Ugh, three this time. I'm gonna go right this time. Maybe we'll get lucky. Nothing in there. Okay. Another artifact. Can I do anything? Well, we can get the industry generator three very shortly. But I can't even build a major module right now. Okay, I'll send her down here to deny. You'll find the exit. Nope, we did find another artifact. Still no modules, damn. Okay, I can build that up. Again, if the exit's not on this side or on this path, I think I'm pretty much screwed. Ah uh, yes, the anti-module enemy right there. Okay. <coughs> mm. Okay. So what I need to do is... I'm going to play things a little bit different. I'm going to build science first. We don't have any other modules. This will let me build the industry level 3 very shortly. I'm going to deny on that side best I can, and hopefully there won't be any enemies over here. Okay, good. That's one room. I really, really need some dust or the exit. Come on. Give me something good. Okay. Good news is I can now defend in that direction. We'll build this. And we need to set up some items. So dust field, suppressive, tear gas, and a smoking gun just because. So this room I pretty much want to keep my heroes in it to give them the boost from those minor modules. Okay. Health regen plus 20, not bad. Okay. Nothing. <coughs> hmm, excuse me. Alright, we found a merchant, that's good. Again, he takes food. Alright, so what I can do... Mm -hmm. Alright, so I can build the shop here. I'll send Josh over here to work on that. And hopefully we'll be able to hold this point. Ugh, this place is getting very long and windy. That's not good. Okay, we got the Industry Generator 3 done. That's good. Now we just need to get enough dust and survive. I should be safe inside this room. Hmm. Do I want to level her, her up again? Uh, let's see. Yeah, maybe I should. Because she, her health is just so damn low. Alright, I have enough dust, so what I can do is I can take jewelry out of that room, move her over here. I just need one more point, and then this whole side will be completely defended or against spawns. Now, 
I could leave that room empty and build a bunch of defenses, but the problem is I really don't have a lot of offensive items. The smoking gun is not really good against the anti-module enemies, and it will just get killed by them, and then they'll just go right for the crystal. Okay. So this is going to be really bad. We got a lot of rooms over here. Okay, that's good. We got that. Freebie. And... Alright, more dust. Perfect. I can now do that. That will deny the spawns for a second. And now what I want to do is quickly shift it over here. Move Elise back over here. She's so slow because she's such a high defense character now. And we'll basically have to make our stand right here. Alright. Now another thing I can do is spread the heroes out to here and to here and deny the spawns a little bit more. So I think I will do that. Okay. Play a little game of Leapfrog. Okay. And we are going down. Alright, another free room. Perfect. Another room we can light up. Okay. Let's see what we have over here. Get the Foo Replicator, or I can start enhancing... Uh, da, 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 da. I guess we'll go for the Foo Replicator. Can I build it? Yeah, I can. I guess we'll put it right here. Let her work on that. Okay, so as you can see, this dungeon, we basically have two strikes. Nothing on this way, nothing on this way. So I have to open this door and see what comes out of it. Come on, nothing bad. Okay, another free room, perfect, and we got some dust. Okay, let's move everyone back into our defense spot. Ugh, these guys are going to be a pain. And these, uh anti-modules will only attack the minor ones or the defensive ones so I can leave the bigger ones here and they won't be hurt but if I run any of those giant crystal giant guys they will attack the major ones okay so we have another free room so I can set up some defenses over here once again we're going to set up suppressive and dust that's being done over there have a science being done? Yeah, that's working over there. We got food. It doesn't make sense to build industry at this point since we only know there's one path left. Okay, so let's go up. Uh, let's see. I'll build the auto dock shard and a smoking gun. What do we have? What do we have? Alright, industry. And of course, danger. And here they come yet again. But we should be able to hold this point pretty easily. There we go. That generator should almost be done. Okay. Alright, good. We got a food replicator done. Got another point of dust. And I found another merchant. Wait, is that? N yeah, it's another merchant. Okay. Can he use that? Yeah, but it's worse. <coughs> now, here's where an interesting choice comes in. I could build a second shop, operate that, and get another point of dust. It's entirely a possibility, but I don't know if it's really worth it at this point. Okay. 
And just to show you what I mean about the anti-modules, I want to turn this into a little killing floor and see how many it will actually kill. Alright, we got another point right there. Good. And more waves are coming. Yeah, we are just tearing them up. And that's because we have a lot of high level heroes, or high equipment heroes, and our modules are boosting their offensive and defensive capabilities. So you just saw how much we kicked their ass. And there's only four rooms spawn on this side. So another three turns I'll be able to get a point up here. But we really need to find that escape. Alright, another wave, of course. Send Cyrus back down to defend. Ah, there's our crystal giant. He's going to rip that apart. Nothing I can really do about that, unfortunately. So I'll watch their health very carefully now. That got a little hairy. Mm. And that mechanical pal, just don't see it being worth it, but what can I build down here? Mm. Let's reset. Okay, we can upgrade the suppressive to level 3, we might as well go for that. And we'll build some defenses over here. I don't know exactly what it will do. Battlefield injector. What does that do? Increases speed and wit. Okay, that's better for him. Did, did we just lose our shop too? Yeah, those bastards blew up the shop. Okay, we need that shop up so he can work on that. And I can give the tool belt to who? Hmm. Nah, I can't do anything with that. Okay, where were we? We're up here. Hope this is the exit. Come on, exit. Of course not. As you can see, the auto dock is doing a nice job. I am going to send her up here and maybe give us some defense. Yeah, she can handle that. She's got the highest defense. There we go. So you can see they're barely taking them out. Are we done? There we go. One last one to deal with. Ah, but they killed all these modules, it looks like. Alright, so we'll send Elise back down here. Let's see what's over here. Another tools belt. Let's see. Now that I have more than four items, I can sell one so that I can hold on. So where is that merchant? Is he still over here? Oh no, he got killed. Alright, we'll go back down here. And I will sell the nail gun. Okay, let's see. I think I'll level her up again. Alright, we gotta find the exit by now. Come on. Alright, another hero, Namor. Okay, I will do that to deny the spawn. Let's see, how are we doing over here? That, I think, has one more turn in it. Come on, where is that exit? 
Alright, thankfully we got enough dust to upgrade yet again. Do it right up there. And we got company. I'm going to send these two up here to deny. And you can see it's barely making a dent in them. What? How are they how do they get to the crystal? Oh my god, they are just ripping that apart. How did they get through? Wow, that just screwed us. Oh yeah. Wow. I don't even know how they got through. They shouldn't have been able to get through with these two heroes blasting them. Oh, this had better be the escape. Come on. Wait, where is it? Ugh, oh, down there. Well, this is just going to get screwed. Okay. Yeah, we are just royally screwed. Okay. Wow. Alright, if we don't find the exit very shortly, there's just nothing I can do. Oh my goodness, this is just bullshit. It really is bullshit right now. Yeah, this is game over, boys and girls. There's no way. Look at this. And this is what I'm just coming to realize about this game. It's just a lot of BS and how they're just doing this. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, nothing I can do here. Well, that's it, sports fans. And that's another great example of the problems at the higher up end of the scale with Dungeon of the Endless. One, I didn't get a real good alert about those enemies. And again, you're just screwed the second you sort of fall behind in any real way. So, that is going to wrap up this play. I just don't see this as a good roguelike, I'm afraid. I just There's just too much piled against the player to make me want to keep playing. When I look at a game like FTL or Dungeons of Dreadmore, there's always something in the game, or even the Bind of Isaac, there's always something there that you can work at or something that can really affect how the game plays out. Here, it just feels like you're just screwed from the start unless everything goes perfect for you. And there's not enough things in your control to really mitigate that. As I said in my analysis of it, they really need more tower defense mechanics and things to do, like ways to lock doors or ways to actually path or corral enemies around. And I think the research is a big mistake. I think you should have all, more modules unlocked from the start, at least the ones that have important mechanics to them, like the hollow hero and maybe a healing one. Because playing it to chance like this with the artifact system just leaves you open for a situation like this, where I had tons and tons of industry, but I didn't have any models I could build to properly defend myself. And once again, it goes back to that ever-present topic of, if one part of your play falls behind, you're screwed, and there's just nothing you can do about it. So, I 
my interest in this game is waning fast, and I think I may go back to FTL for a little bit, maybe play on hard mode, and just show off how crazy that game can be. Because, but because again, even though the main, the final boss is the same each time, the path through the game is different, and there's enough variability in the items and strategies that it makes each run interesting. So. With that, I'm going to be saying adieu to the Dungeon of the Endless for now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like us. It will help the channel everything out. And make sure to check out game-wisdom.com for posts and podcasts relating to game design and the industry, as well as our Patreon campaign to help us secure some much-needed funding to keep this going for as long as we can. So, thanks again for watching, and I will see you real soon.